How to add a booking form to Google Sites. Three simple methods. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can add a booking form to Google Sites. So there are three simple ways you can do this. First off is the button method. Secondly, we have Google Forms and then Calendly. We're going to start off with Google Forms. And first off, I'm just going to open up my Google Sites website. Once you have your Google site opened up, you're going to have the ability to integrate Google Forms into Google Sites by a simple embed. And if you're creating your form on the same account, you can even directly go into the insert tab on the right and then scroll down. Once you scroll down, you will see a section called forms. And from here, you can see you can choose any one of your forms that you have created on Google. So simply head on over to google.com slash forms and then click on go to forms. You're going to create a new booking form. So you can click on blank form over here and start creating your booking form. Now you're going to name this booking form and you can add your business name at the start as well. So we can add our Spencer booking form. And then after that, we're going to remove the first default question and we're going to change this into a date question, which is going to be not a date question. First, I want it to be a short answer. What is your name? And then after that, I'm going to click on over here to add my next question. So we're going to duplicate that. And then the second question is going to be when would you like an a appointment or a booking with us and then after that change this option to the date over here and then you can uh you know allow them to write the month date day and year and you can also choose time but after the date you're going to copy that and change that to what time should your booking be and then you're going to add the time and then at the end of this you can actually include a section where you tell them that you're gonna get back to them now this is because when you go into google booking okay a lot of people want to reserve bookings with google and you can do that so even though uh you're creating a form right now if you go on to google calendar and if you don't have a booking schedule set up on your calendar you can directly go into calendar click on create on the top left and then click on appointment schedule and you're going to add booking or your business name. So this is going to be Spencer Bookings. And you can choose the duration of your bookings. Let's say it's one hour. And then you can add your general availabilities. And then after that, you are going to set up all of your settings. Click on next, click on save. And you can simply share this and copy the link. And you can add the booking link over here and then embed this into your Google site. There are, you know, a couple of different ways to do this. But once you do that, you can go ahead, click on your responses and you can accept responses then click on settings and you can collect their email address, copy their response, one response, form default, so question default, and then you're just going to click on send and then you're just going to save this form, okay? Now, once you've saved this form over here, we're just going to save it and then rename this to the Spencer booking form. If we go back into our Google site and on the right, we scroll, click on forms. We are going to see the Spencer booking form and we can click on insert and then people can add their availability. We can drag this any place we want within our site. If I want to drag it on top, I can do that if I want this to be in a separate section. However, this is going to require you to have a lot of different manual labor where you're going to get back to the actual appointment creator and you're going to mail them back whether you're confirming their appointment because they would be the ones that have set it up and if you are already booked for that time there's no way for them to know that so for that reason a lot of people prefer to add an alternative method which is either google calendar or calendly so the google calendar method i already showed you guys but to add this to your google sites simply click on website embed and this is going to be an inline page you can choose a button as well but i like to use the inline page click on copy code and then go back over here then on the right side click on the insert tab and then click on embed then click on embed code and paste in your code click on next over here and then click on insert and this is what your booking form is going to look like 
when you are using Google Calendar. So these are two different ways. First off, you have the booking form using Google Forms. Then secondarily, you have a uh, booking calendars using Google Calendar. Now, other than these two methods, we also have another option to use Calendly. So to add a booking form or booking section in your Google Sites website using Calendly, simply head on over to calendly.com and then click on Get Started. Once you click on Get Started, you can continue with Google, Microsoft, whatever you prefer. Once you do that, continue on to Calendly over here and we're just going to continue on to Calendly over here once we continue to Calendly we can proceed on to the next step so once we have created our Calendly account we can set up our our Calendly bookings which means that when we are going to be available so we're just going to complete that set up over here so over here we have a simple booking section but we're going to delete that and you're going to set up your availability by clicking on availability and you can set up your availability like this you can see we have our weekly hours i'm going to change this to let's say 9 a.m to 5 p.m i'm going to duplicate this to monday tuesday wednesday thursday and let's say we don't do fridays and saturdays our changes are saved once we do that we're going to click on create and then click on event type and create a event so let's say we do one-on-one -on -one bookings once we do that just name your event so this is my spencer style consultation and we can choose the duration 60 minutes click on continue once you do that you're just going to choose your default hours and then after that uh, you're just going to click on the link copy or you can even click on share on the top right click on add to website and then you can choose how you want to insert this if you want this to be inline embed or a button so i want this to be inline embed we're going to copy the code over here on the right once we do that we're going to go back into google sites click on embed click on embed code and paste our calendly code over here and then just click on insert so this is the third way that you can set up a booking section on your Google Sites. So this is what the Calendly booking section is going to look like. This is what the Google Calendar looks like, and this is what the Google Forms look like. Now you can convert any one of these as a button, which leads to the full booking page simply by clicking on the right side where it says button, and then copying just the link of the form instead of copying the URL. So I can simply click on share and then I can share a link to my Calendly page and then paste that link in my button to have a new tab open up where it's only the calendar. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. So make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.